Three years ago, I started an epic journey with a cucumber where I planted its seeds, watched my homegrown cucumbers pop up, and then I experimented on them and turned them into wild shapes. I'm here to tell you about this wild cucumber ride, so buckle up and let's start the engine. It all started with this cucumber. I brought it home from the grocery store and opened it up to reveal the seeds inside. I planted those seeds in a little basket of soil and the waiting game begun. But after a few weeks passed, they did not grow. And I knew cucumber seeds only take about seven full days to germinate. But what I didn't know at this time was that most grocery store cucumbers actually don't have seeds inside that you can grow into more cucumbers. That's because they're often harvested from the plant early where the seeds are less developed and might not have matured fully. And in order for the actual seeds to grow, the cucumbers need to be left on the plant for a longer period of time. But you do have to be careful because if you leave the cucumbers growing on the vine for too long, they turn yellow, which usually indicates that the cucumber is overripe and may be past its prime for eating. But if you do leave one or two cucumbers to turn yellow, you know that your seeds will definitely be mature enough and viable for growing your own cucumbers. Plus, the cucumbers from the grocery store are all about appearance, so although they may look perfect, the seeds might have actually been treated with chemicals that can reduce their ability to germinate. Someone say germinate and grow into healthy plants. So as you can imagine, not only was I determined to grow my own cucumber seeds so I knew that the cucumbers that grew would be fully organic and without any chemicals, but so that I could experiment on them. But at that point in time three years ago, I thought that you could just plant the young immature seeds from the grocery store in soil and more cucumbers would grow. I quickly learned that this was not the case and I was a bit upset that they didn't grow. But I knew that it was all trial and error <coughs> to learn about growing so many fruits successfully. So I walked over to my local plant nursery. I sprinted, in fact. And I purchased some organic cucumber seeds to try and grow them from the packaged seeds. Even though I usually like to try to grow them from the seeds inside of the actual fruits. Yes. Cucumbers are actually fruits. Anything that doesn't have seeds inside ain't a fruit. I figured the best chance at having them grow and knowing that the seeds were organic without being treated with chemicals was to plant the seeds from the package. So you know what I did next? Well, actually I did a couple of things. First, I took some of the seeds and tried to germinate them on a damp piece of paper towel because I like seeing the actual tails grow in real time and this really worked well. The tails sprouted up and they looked so cute. They were definitely ready for their new soil homes. Next. I took some of the seeds and planted some in soil. I actually added them to the same little basket as the unviable seeds were in and I waited for them to get big enough to repot into new soil home. I wanted to give us options so that we grew cucumbers successfully after all, <laughs> just in case the germination method happened not to work. But we got lucky because it worked and once the seeds grew big enough, I planted them in my garden box and yet again, waited. This time though, I was excited. But what you have to know here is that during this time, I moved houses and that meant that I had to throw my seedlings out. Oh, just kidding. I would never do that. Of course. I took the two little seedlings that survived with me. This is what they looked like. And I was a little nervous that they would die during transport, but we got lucky and they survived and eventually they were ready to be transplanted. A few months passed and I was so excited. The plant was growing fast and looking good. Yellow flowers were growing, but my cucumber numbers never showed up and I was baffled. I just thought the plant gods were against me at this point and I almost gave up. But then I started to learn more about what the yellow flowers actually mean and how some are male and some are female and they actually have to pollinate each other in order for the cucumbers to grow. They basically make cucumber babies together with the help of pollinators that I apparently was not getting enough of in my garden. Bees, where are you at? And butterflies, come on. Can you please lay eggs that I can also take and grow? Thank you. Basically, I learned that the male flowers make pollen, the sticky, sweet tasting liquid inside of the yellow flower. And the female flowers have a little cucumber baby behind them. The buzzing bees and fluttering butterflies come to visit and they accidentally share pollen from the male flowers to the female flowers. But this teamwork is like magic because without the males pollinating the females, the cucumbers don't grow. So once I realized 
things. They weren't growing because they had to be pollinated. And with the determination I had to grow my own cucumber so I could experiment on them, grow them into fun shapes with my 3D printing skills, and then from the garden to the plate, maybe pickle the epic cucumber shapes. <laughs> I started to hand pollinate them with a little makeup brush. But I also really wanted cucumbers and at this time it was the middle of the summer. So I ran back to the plant nursery and got more seeds. Sprinted back home and since I knew what to do this time to make it all work the right way, I was excited and boy, are you in for a treat because this time my plan worked. I got lemon cucumber seeds this time because that sounded exciting. A lemon flavored cucumber, give me 10. I got back to work, you know the drill, got the seeds in soil, germinated them and once they grew tails, I transplanted them as necessary until they were in their final home, ready to grow some nice cucumbers. I added some vermiculite and perlite, which you can do too in your garden to aid in aeration, help the soil breathe a little bit, and finally we were getting some cukes! But I was getting a bit worried because the plant was growing and I was finally seeing the gifts of my hard labor, but the baby cucumbers for about three weeks stayed the same size. However, I was excited that I did get the baby cucumbers, but I did get pretty worried. Plus, I noticed this white powdery substance starting to morph on some of the leaves, which I later learned was powdery mildew. It usually means that there's a fungal infection on the leaves. <laughs> Basically, tiny fungi have a party on them because it's warm and they like to play when it's humid, making the leaves sick and sad. So I had to find a way to remove it. I put together two concoctions and sprayed the leaves every day, once a day for a full week. In the first spritzer, I added a little mixture of baking soda, oil, and dish soap, and I diluted that with water. And in the second spritzer, I added kelp, and I diluted that with water. Spritzed the leaves, did my thing, and then I let nature do its thing because I was sure I did everything I needed to do for the cucumbers to grow. And what do you know? It started to attract the pollinators, and the cucumber leaves started to become more green and less powdery, and it started to thrive again. I was real happy. The cucumbers started to get bigger and juicier, and in just a few weeks, they were ready to be experimented on. At this point, I had three solid cucumbers that were ready to go, so I chose two that I thought were perfect to grow into shapes. Got my shapes, I chose a skull and a shell, and I got to work. Really prayed to the plant gods this time. I placed the skull on one and the shell on the other, and I tied it on top of the soil instead of letting it hang down because the material of especially the shell was more stretchy, and I didn't want it to fall off or have the cucumber become too heavy hanging down. But it's safe to say I was very excited to have a Patrick from SpongeBob cucumber and the waiting game yet again begun. Well, as I waited, this was the progress of the skull. I really had faith in this skull, but unfortunately, this cucumber never came back from the dead. And we didn't grow a cucumber skull. But as for the cucumber shell, I was banking on this one but was very nervous. The weeks were passing and progress was looking good and fresh. It was getting bigger in that shell, so I pressed down on the shell to see if it was starting to fill out at all, but it seemed pretty wiggly still inside. So I left it for three more weeks until I saw there was a little black dot on the cucumber. Figured a little bug or a squirrel with a family of 17 must have been trying to feast on my cuke, so I knew it was time to harvest it because I didn't want it to be eaten or to not survive altogether. This was indeed the moment of truth. I cut it off the stem and got ready to unravel this beast to find out if we did in fact grow Patrick from Spongebob into a cucumber. And well, we didn't grow Patrick, but we grew a tie-dyed cucumber. And I still saw this as a complete success. And I was quite excited. But honestly, now was the ultimate truth to open the cuke up and see if it had mature enough seeds to grow our own cucumbers from. And since this cucumber turned a little bit yellow, I had hope that the seeds inside would be P-H-A-T, fat. Don't forget that when you leave a cucumber on a vine for too long, though it turns yellow, and although it might not be good for eating, it usually is a sign that the seeds are ready to go big and fat to be planted in soil to grow your own cukes at home and experiment on them again. Plus, the seeds can also be dried out and saved for at least three years, so it's totally worth it. Well, let me tell you how excited I was to open up Patrick and see viable seeds to grow. So you already know I walked very slowly to get a damp piece of paper towel and a pot. Oh, who am I kidding? I darn well sprinted and I got the seeds right on the paper towel, like 30 of them. Then I threw a bunch right inside some soil. I put that little pot in my grow box to up the chances of survival and success. And the hardest part came yet again, waiting. One week later, I opened the paper towel to see something pretty disappointing. The seeds on the paper towel got very moldy. No one wants mycelium on their seeds. I guess I probably should have dried those out first, but I was a little bit too excited. However, don't fret just yet. That rhymed. Because the ones in the soil 
soil were grown. Well, actually only one out of the 30 seeds that I planted in the soil grew. Confused, but okay with it. I knew I only needed one to grow a successful cucumber plant. And once it grew in my grow box and I saw little baby yellow flowers, I repotted it and brought it outside to thrive. And of course I was getting ready to pollinate the male and female flowers by hand, just in case we didn't get enough pollinators like the first time around and we waited more and it started to grow. But of course, like all twists in these stories, I moved again. My cucumber plants definitely didn't like that, but I tried my best to keep it alive and we did end up growing one oddly shaped cucumber. So I thought I would let it stay on the vine until it turned yellow so that the seeds would be more viable to grow and we could get more cucumbers. Once it turned yellow, I broke it open to see if there were any seeds that we could plant to grow more cucumbers and what do you know, it had some nice viable seeds. So, I planted those back in the pot with soil since we still had some time left in the summer. It was around the end of July at this point, so I was really hoping more cucumbers would grow in that same home. I also planted some in a separate pot so that we upped the chances of growing cucumbers successfully. I always like to give us options. And I waited. This is what the progress looked like. <laughs> Definitely didn't like the move, but it was still growing some tiny baby cukes that looked like they could have some potential. And as for the second one we planted, this is what the progress looked like. I really wanted cucumbers to grow. So I repotted it into a bigger pot and I think that was a bad idea because it did not survive. However, I did not give up. I planted more cucumber seeds into the soil in that pot and now I'm waiting for my cucumbers to grow because that was a few days ago. So. It all started with one cucumber from the grocery store with immature seeds that never grew and turned into an epic three year journey of planting mature seeds, watching my own homegrown cucumbers morph and become adults, and then experimenting turning them into wild shapes or tie-dyed Patrick from Spongebob cucumbers that are oh so tasty and crunchy. Soon I'm gonna pickle the cucumbers so come back for updates on the garden to the plate update. But as you know, on this channel, we take the seeds from inside exotic fruits and grow them into full blown house plants that Fruit. Thank you so much for watching. You can now unbuckle yourselves and tell Patrick to turn off the engine because we've reached the red light. Thank you again. Don't forget to like, comment, follow, subscribe. Remember that I love you. And I'll see you next week where we learn about the journey of growing the fruit that's got the juice corn.